lies keep emerging from George Santos, the Long Island congressman with a fabricated resume, such as this video. I put myself through college and got an MBA from NYU, and I have zero debt. Except he didn't go to NYU grad school or to Baruch College undergrad at all. Then there's the disabled veteran who says Santos scammed him out of $3,000 he had raised for an operation for his dying therapy dog. I was so livid that I realized that this guy is now a serving congressman. He doesn't deserve that job. It's horrendous that he could lie and steal and cheat his way through life. He doesn't have shame. He does. He's a psychopath. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and it's rare when Fox goes after its own. But it's hard to say face when that face is George Santos's ugly mug. The man of a thousand lies hasn't learned any lessons, and why should he? Kevin the Coward McCarthy and House Republicans will apologize for anything that fits their fascist playbook. Everything from his mother not being in the country when she said she was at the South Tower on 9-11 to the diverting money for the dying dog. Yeah, to lying about being a volleyball star to that account where he may have lied about being on H Hannah Montana. <laughs> I mean, th th there's new headlines every day. I saw some local Nantucket news source with a headline, does he really own a home on Nantucket? <laughs> Uh, every day it's something new, and it's hard to believe somebody who, you know, we all know those people that lie a lot. We've mm -hmm. all had those people had to deal with those people, but it's really extreme to have somebody bring things like the Holocaust and 9-11 into it. There's obviously something fundamentally wrong with this person. They've been apologizing for lies since day one. They've apologized for insurrection, treason, you name it. Honestly, Santos is really no different than any Republican. He lies with every breath. What's new about that? In the MAGA definition, that's just being a good conservative. Remember, Trump had crowd sizes larger than stadium capacity, was the best president since Frederick Douglass, and defended the world against causing cancer windmills? George Santos was simply taking Republican lies to a new level of sophomoric stupidity. And then he doesn't answer uh, questions from the press on most of the things that have been factually proven to be untrue. Yeah. Uh, but then he puts up this tweet when he was accused of having worked in, in, in Brazil as a drag queen, saying this is uh, the most recent obsession from the media, making outrageous claims about my life. Of course, it's an embarrassment, especially when it is this ridiculous, because, you know, I think the top one of the top comments uh, or replies to that tweet is the photo of him wearing drag, where it's very clearly his face. And look, he doesn't get to do that. He doesn't get to come out and say this isn't true and have anybody believe him ever again for his entire life, which is why most people don't do stuff like that, other than the fact that most people, again, don't ever have whatever mental issue it is going on with this guy to actually, I'm not, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a doctor, but I've been alive long enough to know that <laughs> that is not normal. Santos invented windmills, had tea with George Washington just yesterday, and has sold out concert venues in 87 countries under his secret alias, Britney Spears. Is Fox worried that Santos has taken things just a wee bit too far and it will blow the lid off of the Republican secret that, oh my God, they are telling lies? How the hell are you going to get working people to vote for the party of trickle-down economics without lies? How the hell can you con people into contradictions like Republicans for climate change without lies? Republicans cannot function without lies. Don't tell me George Santos doesn't fit like a glove into their pathetic little crime posse. But shh, George, turn it down a little bit. The drooling Neanderthal MAGA voter base is going to catch on if we aren't a little more clever with our lies. You know we should be careful. We know we can't hoodwink anybody above the second grade level, but we need that demographic just above functioning cognition, and you're starting to worry us there, George. That is how dumb the Republican Party has become under MAGA. Like any good Republican, Santos saw his opportunity and he seized it with the tried, true, and tested tools of the Republican playbook, blackmail and lies. Trump opened a can of worms when he showed that there are imbeciles who will fall for anything and Santos simply tested it to its fullest possibilities. So here you go, Fox. Why not do the right thing for once and come out and call for Santos to resign? No? Well, then shut your traps, because your golden cow has been pushing the big lie for how many years now, and you never peep a whisper against your fascist lord. Take the pathetic little worm Santos as a warning sign. Your moronic party is a lost cause. Lies are the foundation of your movement. If you want honesty, then you'll have to look outside your fascist regime, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.